Hi, this is Jacob Anderson. This video is going to show you how to replace the on-off switch for the Shopsmith Mark V. I sell these switches on eBay or directly. The switch is commonly a problem because dust can get into the switch over time. It obstructs the contacts inside. The, the inner parts are really just a few little plastic pieces and sometimes they fail just from age or from heat. So uh, it's very common to have to replace the switch. So this is how the normal switch looks like. We've got this large nut on the outside. So make sure your machine's unplugged. You can just undo this big nut this way. Once it's kind of loose, you can finish the hand. I'm reaching inside the machine. So again, make sure your machine is unplugged for safety. I'm just stabilizing the back of the switch right now. Some of the switches may have a small nut too. In that case, you could use just pliers to loosen the nut. Okay, now I'm going to push the switch in and pull it out through the inspection porthole. Keep the uh, serrated washer. See, there's four contacts, two of them light colored, two of them dark colored. The colors change over time. These switches often get loose terminals where they swing and can short out against each other. Inspect your wires. Make sure you don't have little strays sticking out. But we'll disconnect all four of these leads and reconnect them the same way. There's the new switch. remove this nut. This is going to be our new locking nut because the threads are different than that old style nut. I like this switch better because the terminals are a lot more secure. They don't swing. They're very secure. Uh, sometimes I've had to spread these upper ones out just a little bit, but usually not. So just put the two light colored wires on one side of the switch. The two dark colored wires on the other side. If your terminals or wires are bad, of course you'll have to replace those, but these all looked good. Okay, now I'm just going to reach up and in. Use that serrated washer if you want on the inside. I'm pushing it through. And I supply you with a large washer that goes around. And then we're going to use the new nut that came with it. Just spin it on as far as it'll go by hand. And I'll use some needle nose pliers to tighten it up the rest of the way. You don't have to tighten it up Superman strength because it may be too hard to get loose later. Alright, and just make sure the alignment is straight up and down. And then you can check inside to make sure your wiring didn't. Uh, doesn't interfere with any of the inner parts. You want your wiring out of the way. Make sure that the terminals didn't come loose while you were doing that. And that's it. And if you need to get a hold of me, here's my email address and my phone number. I sell videos on how to repair shopsmiths. I sell tr troubleshooting guides. I sell some parts like this. You can find me on eBay. You can find my website as well. But if you would like, you can send your machine to me or components. And we thank you.